And um, so this pose was one where I could sort of embrace the fact that I was strong, that I had a little bit of strength in my legs. And, um, and so it was surprisingly accessible where some of the other um, yoga postures were yet to come to my um, ability. And so I say this only because depending on whether you are flexible or strong, there is a benefit to both ends of the perspective. And of course we try, we strive to try and find balance between the two. Um, but it is a pose that um, I've often found is a little more of an easier stop, drop, and yoga kind of pose. And so um, you might just prepare by doing a few sun salutations, maybe uh, two A's and um, Surya Namaskar B, e, so that you can kind of get your body nice and warmed up and then um, just start from here. coming to. Let's just go ahead and try and uh, center ourselves so that we can be honest with um, where our body is at today. Um, because you never know what comes up. Sometimes there's pain or discomfort and you want to back out and honor that. Um, Sometimes there's complete joy or you fall on your face and you get to laugh. Um, it's all there and it's all part of life. And so we just try and be present for whatever shows up when we're on our mat. So after you go ahead and do that warm up, let's just go ahead and um, pull in our low belly, kind of round the spine. Let me turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of Use my knees as sort of an anchoring point and exhale, pull all my air out, round my belly and my back. And then inhale, I'm going to pull my chest forward. And I feel a nice little stretch through my psoas. I was doing sit ups yesterday, so I'm feeling that. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, reach up, pushing up with your sternum, your flex bone. Getting those shoulder blades coming down your back. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Okay. So that should give you just enough warming up of the belly. You should feel a little bit of warmth here. And so I'm going to just get my legs kind of warmed up. I'm going to go right into um, working on the pose. So let's start here with the March Marichyasana A. So I'm bending one of my legs, bringing that in. I've got about a fist um, spacing in between my sit bone and my heel and um, in between my legs. And I'm going to kind of get, so get this arm and the shoulder past my knee. See if I can reach so that the shoulder gets past the knee. I'm just going to wrap my arm around. So palm facing down, palm facing back. I'm rotating my shoulder around. And now the back of my hand is up against my thigh. I'm just going to take this other hand, swim it back. See if I can make a connection with my two hands. And reaching. So I Lots of a folding forward and more of a reaching with the spine, trying to find that length, knowing that I want to get this, this uh, knee or this leg over my shoulder. So I'm just trying to work on that length in my spine. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And then we'll go ahead and sit on up. And you might find that you're either more flexible or less, less flexible than I am. Doesn't matter. Just kind of work within your abilities. You can 
So got a little bit more space here, but I think that's fine. And I'm actually gonna bring my heel out just a little bit more, get my shoulders around and through. You can even enjoy reaching, reaching, reaching here, and then swimming your arms back like a breaststroke, finding your fingertips or your wrists and find that length. And let's see if we can level out our shoulders. So trying not to dip down, but trying to level it out. And I may or may not actually be level, but it's just kind of what I'm working towards. And we'll breathe here, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, inhale nice and long. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. All right, sit on up. I'm gonna go back to the right leg. I'm gonna bend this knee up again. And this time I'm gonna see if I can get it over my shoulder. So this is like, um, like a strap of I am putting on a backpack, but it's just my leg, right? And so you might find it has a tendency to slide down, right? Your leg is actually pretty heavy. Um, and so what you can do is you can take this arm and push it back into the leg, okay? And as you do that, you're gonna push the leg into the arm and you'll feel your low belly start to do a little bit of a contraction as the whole body gets integrated. I'm just gonna hold here and see if you can just kind of hold that. And I'm finding that my hip right now is kind of warming up. I was doing some hiking earlier today, I'm feeling that. All right, let's see. It's telling me it needs to move in a different direction. So let's see what we can do. I might straighten my leg and reach it down. Straighten my leg and reach it down. So if that feels good, work there. If that doesn't feel good, it feels good kind of right here. Just squeezing this all in, work there. Play around. You can even grab the outside edge of this foot and help it be a little more passive. Just reach back. Maybe even turn your head, flip underneath your arm. Up at the sky, it's a beautiful day here. Set it down, rock it around, and set it down. So work however you want to kind of get that hip a little more open. Let's do the other side, okay? And I make I make a lot of facial expressions. My teacher's always telling me to quit furrowing my brow because I have this tendency to make it look like maybe I'm in discomfort, um, but I'm a little expressive. So let's see, what do we do? I'm working here and I'm taking my elbow, pushing it back against the arm and resisting that with the arm. And feeling the sensation, you definitely want to tune in and feel what's there for you, right? So this leg definitely wants to slide down I'm going to help it on this side and hold it there. But I'm still working on engaging this underside of my leg, my hamstring, and seeing if I can get it to do the work. Okay, there we go. It's squeezing. It's working nicely. I can even kind of shimmy my chest forward and get past that. And now let's go ahead. I'm going to hold on to it initially. Feel that out, okay. Straighten, bring it back. Straighten, bring it back. Just playing around here, exploring what's there to feel. Warming up the hip joint. All right, and then maybe going for that little deeper opening. We'll look up here. Find a nice, easy breath. And you can even kind of sway back and forth, drawing that hip. 
Just do what feels good. All right. So let's shake it out. I'm going to go back to the, it's my right side, it's probably your left when you're looking. I'm going to put this leg back around. So the next part of the pose is that I want to take this leg and get it on tight, like hook it with this. Now you can do it this way too. So some people might take it from underneath and hook the toes. That's an option. Um, when I was first learning this, I found it was easier to rest it on top. Because then if I didn't have a good connection, then, um, you know, it was resting. So whichever direction, whichever way you want to hook it up, you're going to kind of hold here. Almost just lift up and come down. And lift up and come down. Feel how our belly is warming up. Come down. One more time. Lift up and come down. And we should make sure that we're timing it with our breath. So inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale and exhale. And now while we're here, let's see if we can't squeeze our shoulders without. Now it's sliding down my arm a little bit. That's okay. I'm just kind of working on scissoring my legs, squeezing my arm. Okay, we're gonna put it all together. All right, maybe shake your torso around a little bit. Your belly's nice and warmed up. Your mind is. Put that leg over your shoulder again and explore which way you wanna do it. So maybe you come from underneath, maybe you come from on top. I'm gonna to do the on top. Let's just lift up. Lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Let's do it two more times. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. And so now we're going to work on that scissoring, okay? So you can extend your legs and squeeze your arm with your legs. You'll feel your belly tightening up as you do it. And that's that's good if you feel it. If you don't feel it, that's also good. And no matter, my leg is definitely sliding down today. Um, so I'm going to back up just to make sure that you can see. I'm going to go ahead and explore going deeper into the pose and maybe coming into the arm balance. Um, so, same thing. Start on this side, get that over your shoulder, nice and easy. The first step where you're engaging your hamstring to keep that connection with the shoulders, and you're also pulling the arm back. So you're gonna come into like a chaturanga arms. So if you straighten the arm all the way, you're going to slide up. So you are gonna bend the arm, okay? And then you are going to take this and put it on top or underneath, whichever way you want to do it. I'm going to put it on top. You're going to lean forward, lift up, do the scissoring, and then voila. Okay? And you can play around with leaning more forward, looking off into the distance, past kind of gazing point, past your feet, whatever you want. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes to kind of play around there. And then we'll do the other side, okay? So I'll repeat it one more time just for fun. I think I'm gonna try it coming from underneath. So let's see. And lean forward and we'll hold and we'll breathe. And then maybe you can just slide down and come on out. All right, let's do the other side. I like to kind of bend my knees sometimes. It kind of gives me a little, like a little more stable base. You can also have it straight out. It's kind of whatever you want. I'll get that knee over the shoulder. Bend that arm, push it back against the leg. Wake up those hamstrings, get them going. And let's take this leg and hook it. 
however you want to hook it. We'll do it this way or the other way. We're going to inhale, lift up, squeeze, maybe lean forward, maybe not, and breathe. And come on down. So play around there. Um, it's just a fun little pose. Um, and uh, I hope you can enjoy, enjoy this little tutorial. And um, if you've played around with me today and you are done with your um, practice today, then it's a good idea to just either sit in a nice meditative position, find a little more stillness, once again, checking in, seeing where your body is at after what you've just done. Or you can take Shavasana, lay down on your back, and just enjoy a little bit of time to reintegrate the practice. Whichever way you want to um, integrate, or if you want to just launch off of this and go into a, a longer yoga practice, that is totally up to you. I hope you have a wonderful day.